In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily import a table from Excel to Revit just as plain text or a dummy schedule. Hi everyone, Alberto here with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, my recommendation here is to use Revit schedules as much as you can with parameters. And you'll have instances like uh, code review and life safety tables in which you want to have just plain text as a table format in Revit. Let me show you. Now for this exercise, I'm going to show you how to import a simple table from Excel to Revit just as plain text, so no parameters. Now I'm going to show you the two windows side by side just so it's easier to understand. The text will be too small to read, but it's not critical. Now, the first thing you want to do is head over to the DRoots tab and under table gen you can add tables and browse your excel file and of course we have access to the worksheet which corresponds to the one in excel but first issue that we see is that the worksheet region doesn't have any options that's not an issue that's just because we haven't really defined the print area within excel so let's cancel this out if you head over to Excel, the thing you want to do is select all your rows, so all the scope of your table, plus one row. And I'll show you why in a second. Now, with that selection, set print area under page layout, print area. And now you want to save this file. And now when you, we head back to Revit, when we browse the file, now we do have access to the worksheet region, which is the print area that we just defined. Now, instead of a legend view, we wanna make sure that we pick schedule because we wanna see that schedule view in Revit. Now we hit okay. And now when you do apply, it's going to complete the task. We close both windows here. And now just to visualize it on a sheet, this is the table that we just created its decorative lighting table and now you see that we have all our information including the pictures that's critical because not a lot of plugins allow you to bring the pictures in and visualize them correctly now let me show you the deal with the extra row you typically don't have access to modifying the last row height and that's why I bring in the extra row because I'm able to move this as, as, as well as all the other columns and rows so this gives me that extra control now a few recommendations everything seems to be working well you may have to adjust some of the widths and uh, heights of, a, of the cells or columns and rows because you may have to fit the text correctly now a few a few tips uh, that i've used for the images it may not be critical but i would uh, go ahead and select the images and make sure that they resize with the cell now under size and properties you um, you can make sure that they move in size with cells now that could be optional what I did do is move the image holding control holding uh, alt down and you see that it snaps onto that cell and that's how you you can make sure that the image stays where it needs to stay now the nice thing is that then in Revit it actually it occupies the whole cell and I think that's uh, what, we, what we want now the schedule does allow you to customize the text and to have control over all these functions so font and uh, the shading and the borders now what the one thing that I that I did was defining the borders in Excel and that may be more efficient because if you're trying to keep a link between the two you want to make sure that Excel has the much, as much information as you can uh, consistent with Revit. So 
make as many changes as you can in Excel. So every time you update the link, you don't have to redo the visualization work within Revit. Now, question for you. What other tools are you using that will let you achieve a similar result? Maybe you're using Dynamo or other plugins. Let me know in the comments below. Now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.